Hi guys, so I want to show you this clip from the discussion that took place last Wednesday, which demonstrates how Parliament is in serious trouble once again. Now, during a very serious debate that took place in the chamber, Ian Blackford, the leader of the SNP in the House of Commons, was called out for one of the most ridiculous rules ever. This error, if you want to call it, derailed the debate, um, but it shows how pointless Parliament has become. Let's see what happened. These cuts to overseas aid were immoral and shameful before this humanitarian emergency. It is now a policy that is completely... Do I not listen? Do I not listen? I think I'm afraid, I'm afraid the person that's not listening, and maybe is still on holiday, is the Foreign Secretary, because you haven't taken the spending back to the level when it was. That's the... No, you're not doubling it. And that just shows quite simply the Foreign Secretary catch... We don't use you, as you well know, because I don't want to take responsibility, and you wouldn't expect me to. <laughs> so I don't know if you understand, but you're not allowed to use you in the House of Commons. You're not allowed to point your finger at the person you're speaking to and say you. doesn't matter if this person has lied, you're not allowed to use you. This is, one, once again, one of these ridiculous rules in the House of Commons that make no sense. You know, as I've said before, Boris Johnson, Dominic Raab, any other minister can lie their arse off and they won't get punished. But as soon as you say you, then everything has to come to a grinding halt. I certainly don't want to take responsibility for a foreign secretary that can't realise the facts of the matter that you've taken spending to below what it previously was. And if you can't accept that, then I'm afraid the foreign secretary can't even count. Keep using you. You've got to come through me. I'm the chair, not the opposite, not the, not the foreign secretary. It's me. Why is this important? He's speaking to the Foreign Secretary. He's talking about the Foreign Secretary. I understand there is, there, are, there is this procedure. But I'm sorry, your procedure means nothing when members of Parliament can lie. They don't have to correct the record. There is no obligation on them to correct the record. As I said before, they can make mistakes and they can come back and correct the record. But Boris Johnson doesn't do that. But as soon as somebody says you to the Prime Minister or you to the Foreign Secretary, then everything has to come to a grinding halt. Ian Blackford. Indeed, uh, Mr Speaker, I think it is important that the cuts to overseas aid in their entirety are now reversed. Aye, aye. Mr Speaker, I, mean, I, I know he's trying to wind me up, oh. but it, it, it really... <laughs> Don't speak to me. When the rest of us... See, this is all just a joke to Dominic Raab. Isn't he supposed to listen? Isn't he supposed to wait for his turn to speak? What he's doing, he's trying to disrupt the discussion. He's heckling. He should be at home. Actually, no, he should still be on holiday because he's just as useful on holiday as he is in the House of Commons. He's heckling even though he's the one in the wrong. He's the one who's made the mistake. He, he's the one who was sitting on a beach when a crisis was on, on furling uh, on the other side of the, of the planet. He was the one who should have been doing his job when in reality it was the ambassador who was doing their job. Doing his job before him, it seems. The rest of us were doing what we can over the course of the last few days. The foreign secretary was lying on a sunbed. So I'm not going yes, to take any lectures from yes, someone like yes, him. Yes, People, yes, people. Once again, what, what does he find funny about all of this? People's, even Jacob Rees-Mogg is serious here. Even Boris Johnson has a serious face. Dominic Raab is laughing about all of this. It's all a joke to him. The fact that many people's lives were put at, put at risk because of his incompetence, because of his indifference. People, people are facing the worst situation imaginable. 
and you have a foreign secretary that's sitting laughing and joking on the yeah. government front bench. A foreign secretary that should be ashamed of himself, Shame. that is demonstrating he has absolutely no dignity whatsoever. And you can carry on Water saying enough. that it's been doubled, but I'm afraid... I'm a order! Order! A punch of... <laughs> you have to admire at Ian Blackford. From time to time, he knows he's breaking the rules, but he says, to hell with it. I'm going to break the rules. The rules are stupid. I'm going to break them. You might as well break them because Boris Johnson doesn't respect the rules. Boris Johnson, in a sense, doesn't respect the rules. Boris Johnson knows that he can lie and get away with it. So what's the point in respecting the rules if the most senior person in the government doesn't care about the truth, doesn't care about the impact of their policies. If you, if Boris Johnson has an 80-seat majority, what other way can you hold him to account? You have to use whatever tools you have. And if Parliament isn't going to hold Boris Johnson to account in the sense that it doesn't force him back to tell the truth, then you have to use whatever you have in your, in your toolkit. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.